Okay, we're going to do a website review of lawnsmith.com. We're going to look at the homepage only, and we're going to look at this through the lens of story brand and um, more of messaging for story brand. And um, every subsequent page, all the other pages outside of the homepage, really should be supportive of the homepage. The homepage, we really consider your sales letter. So everything about Lon Smith and what you do to solve your customers' problems uh, should be on the homepage. Everything else should support that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through the homepage. Now, if you want a deeper dive into additional pages on the website, uh, just feel free to let us know. We'll be more than happy to do that. But we'll go ahead and start off with just the homepage today. Now, first thing we're gonna look at is the header of your website. And everything that you see on the screen right now is what I'm gonna consider the header. That's the logo, the phone number, the, the scrolling image that you see on the screen. So we're gonna start um, with the top. First of all, love that you have the logo on the left. It's perfect, that helps people understand that, you, that they've gone to the right spot. So that's a, that's a given, that's pretty easy. You'd be surprised how many um, don't have a logo on there. But the logo also does something for you that's uh, very good and it's super clear what you do. Right off the bat, Lawn Smith Roofing and Construction. Um, and roofing is obviously a priority over construction because the word roofing is bigger than construction. So um, automatically you're telling me what you do. So great job there. Now, this Better Business Bureau and NRCA um, badges here, I, I do like that you have that. The only, the only thing I would do is I would actually move them down on the website. Um, don't put them on the very top because what it could seem like you're doing is it could seem like you are um, automatically talking about yourself. And remember, um, we are the guide, not the hero in the story. So we want to make sure that um, we show these, but not yet. It's a little too early, basically, is what I'm saying. So now on the top right, definitely a, a clear and obvious call to action. <laughs> call today with a phone number. Um, so that's great. Now, one thing I want to recommend to you is maybe we do two different calls to action here. And what I mean by that is, let me go ahead and show you kind of what I have in, an idea for here. So let's go ahead and make believe that did not exist. Let's have two different calls to action. Um, one is the call today, and then the other one is schedule a meeting. Okay, um, it's okay to have two calls to action at the top because of the style of your business, what you guys do, you're gonna have people who are gonna call you because it's an emergency and they don't need to send an email, right? Uh, but there are some who are looking to uh, just change their roof because they wanna improve it. Maybe they're not on a time crunch. So I would have one of these focused on making a phone call and one of these with an online form so you can capture their name and email address um, at the very top. So let's make some two good clear calls to action, um, not just the call today. Now, the social media icons, I don't mind them being at the top, I think that's great. Um, I would probably try to move them somewhere else, um, you know, unless you actively use all those, which I think you do, I would move those somewhere else so it doesn't confuse with your call to action. Uh, maybe move them you know, make them smaller, if you can put them right underneath the logo or somewhere else, maybe even down at the bottom of the website, you could do that too. Uh, but from a social standpoint, I, would, I, don't, I wouldn't put that right next to your big call to action. The words DFW Metroplex, um, I wouldn't necessarily put that there. That doesn't help or hurt you. Um, I think that if they're gonna be calling you, they're gonna reach out to you. Now, if, uh, if you want to have that, that's fine. It's not, a, it's not gonna hurt you. Maybe make it small underneath the logo. But let's make that call to action. The goal of what I'm saying here is making that call to action very obvious and the only thing available on the top right corner of your website. Now, I will tell you, most people who are gonna call you um, are at a place where they're in a hurry. Um, maybe they've had some storms, maybe they've had some damage, um, you know, house fire, whatever it is, something really big has happened 
and they are in a hurry, chances of them reading every single one of these are slim to none. So here's my suggestion. I suggest what we do is we remove them all. Not, we're not gonna kill them off the website, but we're gonna remove them from this banner at the top. And then we can create, and James is really good about this, it's called a hamburger menu. And basically it's like these three lines, one, two, three, and that's really ugly, but those three lines there. And when the end user clicks that, it creates a banner or it pulls out a menu. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm actually gonna to go, to go to Quirk's website. So let's go to quirkadvertising.com. Now up on the top right corner, if you could see here, we have a hamburger menu. That's the hamburger menu I'm referring to. So if I were to click that menu, it opens up the links that I can access any of the other um, items on there, all right? So if I wanted to, I can just click that little hamburger menu and it would be great. Now, if you notice on Quirk's website, we have a big call to action, a philosophical statement or a clarity statement. What do we do? Value stack or value add statement. What's gonna happen by doing business with us? And another call to action. That's what we're going for. We're trying to make it so easy and simple that people will click to either schedule, schedule a meeting with you or make a phone call to you, All right? So let's go back to your website and um, continue on there. All right, so I would move all those into a hamburger menu. You can keep a couple of them, that's fine. Like if you wanna have a contact us on there, that's great. Uh, but I wouldn't have anything else on there. Now scrolling down a little bit further, keeping your home safe, dry, and, dry and comfortable. That's great. If you wanna put that on there, that's fantastic. I would say keep your home safe, dry, and comfortable. Remove the ING. It's amazing just what that does, right? By removing the ING, it makes me, as your customer, feel like that I'm the one keeping my home safe, dry, and comfortable. If you say keeping your, safe, your home safe, dry, and comfortable, that means you're doing that. And here's the thing. I'm the hero, you're the guide. I know you're actually the one doing the work, but I'm the one who hired you, right? So I'm the hero, and I'm the one keeping my home safe, dry, and comfortable. But you should be saying to me, keep your home safe, dry, and comfortable. You're telling me that, like, hey, keep your home safe, dry, and comfortable, it's you who's doing this. So I would remove the words ING, it's that small little, or the letters ING from the word keeping, small little change. Now, I love the fact that you have this big image slideshow. It has lots of images inside each one of them that have smiling faces, um, you know, people working on the roofs, that kind of thing. I'm actually gonna go through each one and kind of share my first impressions from a story brand perspective. Um, but I will tell you, it's overwhelming. There's so many pictures. And these pictures don't really compel me to hire you. Uh, they're fantastic pictures. So let's start with the next one. The pictures of all the staff or people in their computers, don't put that on there. That's not real, That's not really actually helping me um, want to buy or you know reach out to you and schedule that. It really isn't. Smiley faces of people working in the building, um, your building, don't really help me. But the pictures of the gentleman on the roof smiling, that's different. That helps me envision nice, caring, compassionate people fixing my roof so I can keep my home safe, dry, and comfortable. So those images are great. Keep those on there. The ones that are like, like this here, keep those on there. Um, also, you have some images of, um, let's see here, you know, these are fine. These are great. The ones where you see people shaking hands, people standing in front of their house, those are great. Keep those, make those bigger. If you can find bigger pictures of those, utilize those more often. Now, I love the fact that you have you know, this right here, or a flag is being presented to a vet, that's amazing. This right here of the news broadcast, that's great. Um, but those aren't really gonna help me right away choose you to repair or replace my roof. So I wouldn't put those on there. Um, the hail, the picture of the hail, that's uh, pretty fascinating, but it's not helping me um, purchase the roof um, or a new roof. And this picture here of the gentleman on the roof with his hands out like that, 
my first impression is I'm just playing around on top of a roof. I know it might be a joyful thing like, yeah, I got my new roof. Uh, but it almost kind of gives it like it's too playful. Um, and I don't want them to get the impression that your employees are the ones standing on the roof playing around. Um, so anyway, those are a few, few things on that particular image. And then this other one here, this is great. I mean, this image actually is fun. I would, tr I would say they'll separate them into separate images. Right now we have seven images in one slideshow. So there's so many going, so many things going on here. It's just too much. So I'm overwhelmed. I'm very overwhelmed already just from the top. We have all those links and we have all those images. It's really overwhelming. We don't need that much clarity. Keep it clear, remove as much as you can without sacrificing your message. Now over here, this email icon and special offers, click here. If you're gonna have special offers, I suggest you put them lower on the site um, or you know, that's actually okay. That's actually fine. Um, ask us about the type promotional upgrade. This is actually okay. Yeah, I would keep that. That's fine. Um, that little special offer thing is fantastic. I would keep that. The contact button, you already have a contact us link at the top. So I wouldn't put that there at all. But this special offers is good. You can put that there. Residential roof replacement. Quality is number one at Lawsmith Roofing. Okay, so we're talking about ourselves again right here. Uh, residential roof replacement is fine. That's one of the things that you offer. You can keep that on there. But we start talking about the quality at Lawn Smith is number one. Um, talk about what resident, residential roof replacement is in one sentence. Don't tell me Lawn Smith is number one in quality. It should be a given, right? But we don't need to, we don't need you. That makes you the hero. And I'm the hero. Okay. You're the guy. Um, residential roof repair. Lawnsmith Roofing can help you maintain the quality and safety of your roof. Call to find out about a roof maintenance program. Um, I would say something to the effect of where it says residential roof repair. Um, you can maintain the quality and safety of your roof. Call to find out. That's it. Uh, commercial roofing. Um, commercial buildings require expertise in many types of roof systems. Calls for both replacement and repair. I would just talk about um, maybe kind of hit what is happening from a commercial roofing standpoint. So you have a lot of time and um, your, your roof should not be the thing you have to worry about. Uh, let us take care of that for you. Give us a call, you know, something like that. But I think in this section here, we need to probably have a little bit, if we're going to keep that section there, uh, we're going to have a little bit more clarity. What I'd actually do though, in place of this section here, is I'd actually have a value proposition. Um, so you can keep this here. I don't think it's going to hurt or help, but I think what we need to do is change this section into something different. So have three boxes. You can have the three boxes there. That's totally fine. Let's cover that up though real quick. And then what I would do is I would have, you know, three different icons, right? So one, two, three. And these icons can be like a clock, a briefcase, and something else, right? And then underneath it, you can have text that adds a value proposition. Now, a value proposition is what value is being added um, by going you know, by doing service with you. So it's basically you know, two or three things that your customer will get as a result of hiring you. Um, so communicate success here. Uh, that's what I would do in this section here. I wouldn't necessarily show your products right, right away. I mean, you can, your different services, that's fine. But I think what's going to make more of an impact is if you give me a value proposition right there. This can be moved somewhere else into a website. Um, you know, you have services pages and you have things somewhere else on the website. You can have that included on there. I'm, I'm not going to read through much of this here because it's a lot. And I'll tell you right now, uh, people are not going to read all of this. Um, people are going to go on your website and they're scanning. Most of everyone is going to be looking at your website from a mobile device. And if they're not, they're scanning to find the thing that they need. They're finding the thing they need. So right now, um, Lawn Smith Roofing, Dallas Fort Worth Roofing Company, we can fix your roofing problems. That's a good statement. We can fix your roofing problems. However, um, I would have something else like, you know, keep your, like you said, keep your house safe and dry. 
um, you know, fixing your roofing problems or fix your roofing problems, that kind of thing. When you say we can fix it, that means you are the hero. Um, when I need to be the hero, you're the guide. Um, when you look at the small text underneath it, Dallas Roofing Company, Lawn Smith Roofing is one of America's top 25 roofing companies. I wouldn't put that on there right away. I know you're, it's a great way to build um, authority, but it's still too early on the website. Um, replacement, replacement with trusted lawn smith, I don't know what that means. So uh, again, I'm burning a lot of calories trying to read through this. This needs to go somewhere else. And maybe in place of all this, we have our plan, our one, two, three step plan that's on your brand script. So remove all of that in its entirety and do the one, two, three um, step on your plan. So let's see what this is here, this video. Among basic needs, there may be none more important than having a roof over your head. This roof is 25 years old and it was leaking badly. The only thing older than this roof okay, that's wall. is the man living under it. Okay, so that sounds like a, I mean, it's a news broadcast about the importance of having a roof and taking care of uh, your property is what it sounds like. Um, so that's good. I probably would make this video smaller or put it somewhere else. It's not bad, uh, but it's it's definitely something that we're it's not ready yet uh, for. But you know we can put put that in a place there. Now as we scroll down some more, again I am very overwhelmed by all this text. Commitment to excellence. Dallas Roofing Contractors over 40 years, no cost roof inspection. A lot of words, a lot of words. I'm not going to read this, and most of your clients will not read it either. Honestly, they're looking for something specific. I need my roof fixed. I need my, um, you know, I had a storm. I need to come get it inspected. You know, that there, this is a lot of text. So I would remove that, um, and maybe at this point is when you can add some of these residential replacement, the things you do, put that down here. So we have a clear call to action and um, philosophical statement at the top. Underneath it, we have a value proposition statement. Um, and then we move into the plan. And then after the plan, then add some of those uh, services that you provide. Uh, but a lot of text, now we've removed that text. These video testimonials, that's awesome that you have that. I would go through them and make sure that they talk about the importance of why they should work with you. Um, and that they're good testimonials, but I'm glad they're there. Residential roofing products. So I'll tell you right now, these three things matter to you, uh, but for a general person who's sitting at home who needs a new roof, um, knowing that it's Owens, Corning, or Platinum certified, that, I don't know what that means. So if these are certifications, that's great make them smaller, make them all the same color, you know, all gray or something like that and put them somewhere else. And for example, Cork Advertising, you know, we have all of the different companies that we've worked with. You notice they're all gray. Um, it's in this section right here. They're all gray and they are um, kind of scrolling. It doesn't take a lot of eyes away from the content but it definitely does show authority in our ability to help companies. So same for you, do something like that. Locations in Dallas, Fort Worth. I don't know if that necessarily matters. If you wanted to say, you know, we're located in Dallas, Fort Worth, that's fine. Call us, info at, this isn't really a good direct call to action. I would probably add another section here that talks about the importance of um, hiring you and then a button and then at the bottom you're you know uh, we call it the junk drawer which is basically all the additional information down below that's fantastic what you have down there is great um, if I were to say one thing about your homepage it's a lot of information all up front and that is the danger of most marketing and websites is it can become a just pot full of content that doesn't help me fix my roof, or it doesn't help me repair my roof, or it doesn't help me feel secure about what I'm doing. So um, what we're gonna do after, um, after we'll get started is I'm actually gonna provide to you uh, what we call a wireframe of a website. 
and we'll go ahead and provide that to you. Give us some time um, for that, but I'll go ahead and provide that to you so that way you can see, visually see what it is I suggest you do on this website. Um, but I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or need anything else, let us know. Thanks so much.